Have you ever found yourself waking up in the middle of the night without knowing why? You're really tired and in a deep sleep, but out of nowhere, it feels like something made you wake up, even though you're not sure what it was. If this has happened to you, don't stress. You're not the only one. In today's video, you are going to find out the real reason why God wakes you up at night and what it means. But before that, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. As the day fades away and the night sky takes over, there's nothing quite as sweet as getting a good night's rest. Whether it's the relief of a long day's work or passing out after a night in town, sleep brings us all a sense of peace. But why would God sometimes interfere and wake us up in the middle of our resting period? when he knows this is the only time we have to rest. You see, we live in a spiritual world that is ruled by two major forces, good and evil. And whether we believe it or not, the spirit realm completely overrules the physical realm. But what we often forget is that while we may be fast asleep in our beds, the world continues to turn and so does the presence of spiritual warfare. Have you ever wondered why most of the wickedness that takes place in the world occurs at night? Did you ever wonder why darkness is often associated with evil? That is because the devil finds nighttime as the best time for him to carry out his mischievous activities and go undetected. In fact, if God were to make us aware of the spiritual things that go on behind the scenes at night, most of us will stay wide awake. We would spend time praying rather than falling asleep. 1 John chapter 5 verse 19 tells us, And we know that we are of God, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. When God wakes you up in the middle of the night, it is because He wants you to pray and counter such evil forces ganged up against you. In Matthew chapter 13, verse 25, the Bible tells us, in other words, during our slumbers, the devil is actively working to bring chaos and destruction into our lives. It's to counter this silent but evil agenda that God wakes us up unexpectedly in the night. It's his way of sending you a warning of what's happening in the spiritual realm you can't see. It may seem unexpected and disruptive, but there is a reason for it. Just like the parable of the wheat and tares, he knows your enemy is always prowling and looking for a way in. He's trying to protect you and keep you safe, even when you don't realize it. He understands your vulnerabilities and can see when you are in danger. He watches for the enemy schemes, ever vigilant and ever present, to make sure no harm befalls you when you are asleep. This is how it works. The devil knows that at night, we are most vulnerable whilst we are asleep. He knows that a sleeping man cannot pray whilst he is asleep. He knows a sleeping man cannot read his Bible. He also knows a sleeping man isn't conscious of his surroundings. So at night, when it's dark and the world is asleep, this is when the enemy or the devil chooses to do his work. At the same time, this is when God begins to prompt you to wake up and pray. Because the best time to catch a thief is when he is in the act of stealing. In fact, at the time God wakes us up to pray at night is when the devil will most likely want to make us feel all the more sleepy. Have you ever wondered why you feel much more sleepy when it comes to waking up to pray? Remember how the disciples of Jesus also fell heavily asleep in the Garden of Gethsemane just before Jesus was arrested. It isn't a coincidence that the time you feel most sleepy is when you really have to pray. If you were to wake up at that same time to check your phone or reply to a text, you wouldn't feel so tired or sleepy. But when it comes to prayers, the devil makes sure to attack you with an intense desire for sleep. You feel his arms around you, whispering sweet but empty promises of rest. 
He tempts you to stay in bed, telling you that praying can't possibly make much of a difference anyway. He tells you there is no need for you to cut your sleep short, just to pray. He tells you to leave the prayers till morning and that everything is all right. But he's wrong. Whenever God wakes you up in the middle of the night, it is because he has seen the enemy attacking you and wants you to take charge spiritually. Praying can be a powerful antidote. It helps you to counteract and dismantle whatever plans the enemy has set up against you. The devil knows that if you take control of the situation and pray, you will overpower him. That's why he's sending waves of sleepiness just enough to make you too comfortable to act. These aren't coincidences. He knows there is power in prayers, and he wouldn't want you conducting any spiritual activities that will hinder the plans he has against you. Waking up to pray might be a difficult feat, but those who heed God's call are rewarded with spiritual victory. The more sleepy you get, the more effort you should put into your prayers. As you begin to pray and as your voice rises, so does his resolve. He knows his plans have been thwarted and that with your prayers, his insidious plans have been exposed. The truth is, many people find themselves presented with a lot of problems in their day-to-day -to -day lives. But what they often fail to realize is that God might already have woken them up once or twice to pray. He may have even made known to them their troubles and advanced through dreams and visions, but they just weren't mindful enough to take action. In Job chapter 40, verse 4, it says, Once have I spoken, but I will not answer. Yeah, twice, but I will proceed no further. This reveals that God speaks to us often, but we just don't pay attention. Don't let ignorance be the downfall of your faith. Obey that prompting to rise at night and pray diligently every time. You'll find yourself victorious over every hidden enemy in ways you could never have imagined. In the Bible, Peter was held captive in prison, awaiting execution the following day. It was during the night that an angel broke into the prison and woke the apostle from his sleep. When Peter noticed the open prison doors, he was naturally intrigued. He didn't know he had been given a herald of his Lord and quickly realized this was his one chance of freedom. He took heed and followed the angel out of the prison and his obedience resulted in him being set free, avoiding certain death. Most have made excuses claiming they're too tired or they're not feeling like praying. But Peter understood that obeying the Lord is better than comfort. So instead of making excuses and staying in bed, Peter woke up, followed the angel, and was set free. Another example can be seen in the life of young Samuel. When Samuel was a young boy, he was called upon by God in the middle of the night when he was sleeping. Speak, for your servant is listening. Samuel answered in response, and in that moment, God opened up a world of wonderful possibilities. Had Samuel chosen to be lazy and slept instead, he might never have risen to be the great man he was. It's clear from this story that when God wants us to wake up at night and pray, we need to lean into our faith and obey his call. This doesn't mean we should always stay up all night praying, but it means if God prompts us to, we should. It can be tempting to just roll over and go back to sleep when we are awoken at night. But it is important to take these moments seriously and listen to what God may be trying to tell us. As much as it may be tempting to stay in bed and sleep, the importance of following His direction is obvious. You might wonder why God sometimes chooses nighttime instead of the day to give us these promptings. But the truth is God can prompt you at any time be it day or night. During the day, we often become too distracted in our activities to both hear God's voice and recognize spiritual dangers. But when we sleep and the devil begins to set up his plan, God can open our eyes to see the truth better than ever before. 
even if it is just a few minutes of prayer, it can make a huge difference in our lives and in the spiritual battle being waged against us. But we must not forget that if we refuse to make time for God, we have already lost the battle. It takes time, focus, and commitment. But when you make it a habit of rising up in the stillness of the night to connect with God, unseen spiritual battles can be won. You will be amazed by how much a few moments in the presence of God each day can do for your spirit. Every time you wake up, speak to God. First, just before you pick up your phone or speak to your friend, because only He alone can guarantee you a safe life mentally, physically, and spiritually. A person who spends an hour at night praying is much more powerful than a man who spends an hour praying during the day. No wonder Jesus spent all night praying most at times, because He understood the power behind prayers, though often hidden from our eyes. What's coming against us is nothing compared to the powerful and loving plans God has for us. When we honor Him and rest in Him, He will watch over us in the night and keep our souls safe and secure. So if you find yourself awoken in the middle of the night, be rest assured that God has something important to tell you. He's just waiting for you to listen. So there you have it. Thank you for watching. If you love our videos, please feel free to subscribe to our channel.